Well, hello and um, welcome to another video. So today, this morning, I did go actually go out this morning, but it just turned out to be a complete disaster. The place I went to, um, the, the, the car park was three feet underwater. <laughs> then I went round the corner to another nature reserve. All the nature reserve went with a bit of sort of like a three mile radius. It was about a mile and a quarter down the road. So I went there and I realised that uh, when I went to put my camera onto my monopod, I had the wrong uh, QR plate on my uh, tripod cutter, so I couldn't use my monopod. And carrying the, uh, the camera around with the lens all day in there weren't going to be nice. So I ditched that. So I thought, well, I'll go around to another um, nature reserve, which is sort of like two miles up the road. And I went there and all the lakes were frozen. So I thought I'd come home and do um, a video of what gear I take out on Pacific sort of like um, wildlife wildlife photography. So obviously the first one you can see right in front of you is the uh, Nikon D500 with here. I do have a battery grip for it as well. And the battery grip, grip does come with me when I do wildlife photography. Um, and the Sigma 150 to 600. This is um, sort of like, um, if you like, my go-to lens, um, for especially for, for bird hide, when I'm in, when I'm in bird hides. Um, I've had no problems with this lens at all. I've calibrated it and everything else, and it's, um, it works quite well uh, with, the, with the camera. Um, but yeah, it's, um, that's my, that's my go-to lens. And I've got various QR plates that go on the bottom. This is actually the wrong one that goes on my, uh, the, the, the mount for my monopod, which is a serial Siri L10. Um, but I'll get to that later. So I got another one and I didn't put it on. I put the wrong one on. So that was that. But I was according to, so with this, I've, I've got a strap as well. It's a very thick strap. It's neoprene. Um, it's attached to the lens, um, to the um, tripod collar. There is, there's a Pacific route here that you put your straps around on the tripod collar and carry it around and like that makes it easier to carry this around um, so that's that's the camera not only do i take that camera out with me um if i'm in a if i'm in a bird hide um especially sort of like in spring area where you can uh, get the smaller birds well i've got this trained on what i want what i'm specifically going for at 600 mil i do actually take this one which is the uh, the Nikon D7500. Um, it's a little brother to this one, um, and uh, I stick a, a Pacific lens on that, which is actually this one, this one here, which is the 70 to 200, and I stick that on there, um, and then I go with with that. Um, I I can snipe small birds in the in, you know while I'm in the bird hide, and that's trained on what whatever I want. Uh, in the Pacific area, and when there's small birds flying about in the trees, so I've got the 70 to 200. This is the uh, Nikon F4 version, um, which which fits on that, um, and which enables me to snipe various birds in the trees. And with that, I have the um, I have the Nikon um, 1.4 times uh, teleconverter, which also goes on that. Now I have used this combination with the D500, and it works really well with the uh, with the 1.4 teleconverter. Um, it does work well, and it also works well on the uh, D7500. So that whenever I take um, this one, um, that's I take this as well. Um, but the D7500 doesn't always come out with me on wildlife uh, on when I go to bird hides, because it is quite a lot of weight to lug around. You know, and the, and the object is for me to, is to go sort of like mini, minimal amount of gear that I do uh, take out with me. Um, if I'm going to Pacific. Um, um, nature reserves where I don't need a 600. I take my 100 to 400. This is the uh, Sigma 100 to 400 contemporary. This is a really good sharp lens. I, I really do love this lens. I've also had the um, Sigma 1.4 teleconverter attached to this. Um, and it's actually a good combination in my eyes, only in my own personal opinion. I'm not saying that everybody else is, uh, you know, gets the same opinions as me. But this is the 1.4 teleconverter Sigma that I do fit on that, um, which goes on the D500. And that's a really good combination, really good lightweight combination just to walk around. Um, not always, I don't always stick that, but if, I, you know, if I'm walking around um, a place that I've not been to before and I suddenly come on an area that might have a bird hide or I need just that extra, extra reach, you know, I can just stick the uh, 1.4 teleconverter on this one. Um, I don't recommend that you do it, just stick the 1.4 on your 600 because the, the images are really soft. Um, and, and if you needed it, you know, a, a 1.4 teleconverter with a crop sensor camera, you know, you've got to ask yourself, get yourself closer, you know what I mean? 
Um, but yes, if I do need the extra reach and there's no way of me getting any further closer to the subject, I will stick the 1.4 teleconverter on the uh, the 400. Um, as far as as far as um, mounts and stuff stuff goes, I mean, I I do um, take with me is this. Which is this is a this is a photographer's fender. This is this is actually a bean bag. Now, I bought just the cover of this, and I bought the filling myself. Um, if, you, if you buy them already filled, they're sort of like you know, you know, twenty thirty quid. But I mean, I, I just bought the cover, and it cost me eleven pound. And I bought the uh, the uh, just a small bag of um, polystyrene beads and filled it up. You know, which cost me sort of like six quid. And um, this this comes if I go to a bird hide. This this comes with me, and that just sits like that, and I can just plonk this on top, you know. And it sits there quite happy as Larry, you know, not going anywhere. And indeed, you know, when when I'm in the car as well, I can fit it over the window like that, and I can plonk it on top like so, you know. And um, again, it just makes for a good a good a good mount. Um, so I will take that with me if I'm going to a bird hide because um, it's just the D500 and this that comes with me if I'm going to a bird hide and that's that so the, the other thing the other, the other mounts and stuff I do take now this 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 here is my monopod this is the uh, inner L VM 70k it's an aluminium monopod and as you can see it's got sort of like um, feet feet on it as well which which come out and it's sort of like really really nice and sturdy and if you just see down here you know you can unscrew this just there and it's got a ball got a ball socket there so you know it can go anywhere and also you can turn it left to right because obviously it works exactly the same as a ball head go left to right so you know this is absolutely brilliant and it and when it, when that's extended it's taller than me and the actual the actual legs of this do actually come off so you can um, use it independently from this so if you wanted to get really you know down low you know, you can take take your legs off, and you can put your uh, fluid head on top. You know, you can get on the floor and get you know eye level with your with your with your subject. And uh, the the mount I've got on top of that is there is the Siru L10. It's just a, it's just a tilt mount. It just goes up and down like that. Of course, I don't need the pan um, on this because obviously you know I've got the ball head on it, and I, it, it just turns around. You know, just like that. It's an absolutely brilliant bit of kit. Um, I do like the NRL, I do like the NRL stuff, you know, it really is, really is good. Um, the other mount, so if, I, if I'm taking my monopod and I want a different mount on it, this is my, this is my um, fluid head. This is the NRL F60 uh, fluid head. Um, really good fluid head, I've not, not had any problems with this. Now, I did get this at a special price. I've got this at a really, really, really good price. Um, if I hadn't got this at a good price, I would have got the uh, Manfrotto one, um, which is, uh, you know, really good bit of kit. But I got this at a really, really good price, and I couldn't turn it down. And um, you know, it's um, it's it served me well, and it's actually really good. It has got an arm for it. The arm's upstairs. We don't really need to know what an arm looks like, but it attaches there, and it you know does everything else. And it's um, left to right, and all sorts. You know, it's really, really good, really good. Uh, fluid head that get on really well and it's nice nice and lightweight as well it's not really heavy it's nice and light so when when that's attached to that you know it still makes for a, a good lightweight system you know um but that's really good i was really pleased with that um sometimes i do take my tripod out with me uh not very not very often when i'm doing um wildlife photography um because a tripod is it is a big sort of like you know object you know to, to lug that around um, but with it, mine is carbon fiber. Um, but, so you've all seen it on my videos anyways, is the um, Inerel RT80C carbon fiber uh, tripod. It is absolutely huge. And I'll tell you something else, you know, it, it's, it's the, the weight that this can take is unreal. I mean, there's, there's a bloke on YouTube who's literally hung himself um, from this and dangled on it. I mean, when it's extended, it's taller than me. I'm 5'11", and this is taller than me, you know? And it's got one of these um, superb, um, tops on it you know the bowl head you know so you can just when you want it want it level in instead of moving your camera about you just unscrew this and you just move move that about and whatever you get your get your camera get your camera level and and that's the tripod um with the tripod if i do take my tripod 
it's either you know the um, it's either the fluid head that goes on there, or it's my gimbal head which is here. This is a really heavy, heavy piece of equipment. This is um, this is the uh, Movo. Um, oh, I can't remember what, what model this is now. Um, can't remember what model it is. Anyway, it's not the newer one. It's the one previous. Um, but yeah, this is my this is my gimbal head. Um, I've had it a while. It doesn't, you know, it, this this screw here is decided to seize up and I can't unseize it so which is why I've got a little bit of velcro around it just to stop it from moving about but when I'm, when I'm using it it doesn't really make any difference you know I can still go left and right and it's you know up and down you know it's just it still works you know it still works there's no need to replace it but I'm finding myself more often than not when I do go out is to uh, use my um, inner L fluid head which is really really good really like that is um but this tripod yeah if you ever want a tripod this is really you know it's not really expensive either um i got this off of amazon um i can't remember how much it cost me but anyway it's carbon fiber it's really light and it's absolutely chunky um it's got these to um undo your legs with and it come out nice nice and easy you know and um foam handles here it's really good really good tripod really pleased with that um so what else do I take as, as far, I mean, when I go out, I try not to take a bag. Oh, actually, no, there's another thing I do take with me when I go out. Uh, so, um, so, so when I do remember to take them is, is, the, uh, is my binoculars. You know, the, these are the, uh, the Bushnell Power Zoom. Um, what are these? I forget what they are now. 8x30, aren't they? Yeah, 8x32, these are. So these are my Bushnell Power Zoom binoculars. Ideal for wildlife photography these are you know you can sit at a distance and see what see what's about and then when you've got your 600 mil on you know you can go in go in and get them and move closer to your subject but uh bushnell's really good when you remember to take them that is um as i was saying when i when i go out i, I try not to take any any sort of like bags with me um because I've, I've got this um this this gillet this waistcoat and it's a fly fisherman's waistcoat and it's padded and it's insulated as well it's really good thick and chunky and it's got uh, an, a huge amount of pockets on it. So, you know, I tend to stuff things in the pockets. It's got about six on, on the front and there's three inside and everything else. Um, but if I do take a bag, I'll just take this. Um, this is, is not a brand name. I mean, I, I was walking around walking around um, Yeovil, went to a day, day in Yeovil with the wife one day, just have a walk about and went in a charity shop. And I saw this in a charity shop and it cost me, what, I think it was uh, I think it was about one pound fifty, you know, and um, it's a really good big bag. I mean, it's got zips all over the place. It's got a zip on the front, just here, a pocket on the front, big huge pocket, big huge central um, area as well that I stick um, a camera insert uh, pad in there. And then not only that, but inside it's got another pocket as well. It's got one here on the lid, just there. And it's got another one behind. So if I do take a bag, I take that, and that will hold, you know, everything I need. Um, it will, what I do do is actually, is when I'm going to a bird hide and I've got the 150 to 600 with the, with the uh, D500, I will put, you know, the uh, D7500 already attached to the 70 to 200 and that'll be in there. So when I get to the bird hide, it's, uh, you know, out and take pictures. Um, I'll put a link to a video where I did take uh, this combination uh, with me. But this is this is the gear I, I tend to use for, for wildlife photography, you know. It's um it's it's all keyed around my style of um, wildlife photography. I'm not one for sitting, um, you know, for ages and ages and ages in one spot trying to get one specific um, species. You know, I, I, my my style is to walk about. Even when I'm in bird hides, you know, I I stay in a bird hide for about two or three hours. But even then, I'm walking in and out, walking in and out. I can't sit still for too long because I've got arthritis in my knees. Um, both my knees, I've got arthritis in now. Um, it limits you know how long i can sort of like sit still because it, my knees just hurt so i've got to get up walking around is not an issue believe it or not with me arthritis it's the actual staying still um so that's why i've got to get up and i've got to walk about and i've got to continually be on the move because of my arthritis in my knees um which is getting a bit of an ass to be quite honest with you but anyway so yeah it's um this is all the this is all the all the gear i take you know and it's um it's proved me well what, what do i do to record with Oh, have I, have I got it here? Have I put it over there? Yeah, I've put it over here. Hold on a minute. Mm. Back in a minute. Right, 
right so if one day i just get up and i just fancy going out you know and um just just for me and i've no intention of doing a video i will stick something in my pocket just in case you know something pops up and it's worth doing a video um this is not my main main one my main one i'm obviously filming with now but this is it it's just a gopro hero 8 it's just a naked gopro hero 8 nothing nothing put on it it's got a couple of Rycott uh, wind jammers on there and I'll just take that and I'll put that on my Ultrapod 2 and um, you know just take that out with me or I've got the, a little clip that I go, goes on there I'll just take that and sit it anywhere I like you know it's just quick easy goes in your pocket if I as I say if I go out and I've got no intention of making a video but something does crop up I'll, this is always in my pocket that one just in case you know and what I do vlog with is the GoPro Hero 9 and what I'll do is I'll switch this on. I don't think I've got a bunch in it, have I? No, I haven't. Hold on. It's going out into the kitchen and the sitting room and get my phone. So, what do I vlog with? Let's switch on the camera. Double tap. So I'm just gonna just gonna run a bit of video here a minute. Right. So press record. So there you go. That's that's my that's what I vlog with. Is that there? That is the GoPro Hero 9. It's in the media mod. Um, as you can see, I use a wireless microphone system, which is the uh, Comica wireless microphone system. That's the receiver, obviously. And I've got the transmitter on my personage. Um, attached to the bottom of that is the Lanzi quick release plates um, it just saves me sort of like unscrewing them and fitting them on different mounts and stuff it's just literally press a button twist it and I put it on another one and uh, that's uh, the Ultrapod 2 that I use and it's got the uh, velcro around it and I've extended the velcro I've added a little bit more on it so you know it can wrap around virtually anything anything like if I come to a tree just stick it to a tree wrap it around a tree and um, you know do walk up walk up to the camera and stuff like that so that's what i vlog with all the time no matter what sort of like genre of um photography i'm doing that is what i vlog with so that's that's that the gopro hero 9 with the media mod right so let's put that phone down so and that's it that's that's virtually everything i take when i'm doing wildlife photography i do do um other photography as well i've got a completely different setup for that um but i do that at a later date so, you know, a quick recap, you know, the main camera is the D500 with the Sigma 150 to 600. You know, really good lens this, it really is. You get some really, really good results with this. Um, I was toying about the idea of getting the, the Nikon 2 to 500, but, you know, I'm quite happy with this now. You know, this, this serves me just as well. So that's my main setup and I have got the battery grip as well. And then sort of like the, the other lens is, as I said, this is the 100 to 400 which is a really lightweight system when you're putting that on there. Even with, even this on the D7500, I mean, this weighs 640 grams, that camera. Um, and this, this end, you know, much far off it really. It's very light lenses. You know, these two, these, these attached together make a really good lightweight sort of like wildlife system. If you don't want to be carrying around a lot of kit. And um, that's a really, you know, that's, that's really good as well. Um, 70 to 200, when I'm in bird's highs, like I said, on the um, D7500, and I have had that on the D D500 as well. Um, and the and the two and the two teleconverters, that's the Nikon, that's the Sigma one. You know, they're both all right. You know, uh, I wouldn't suggest, as I said, you put it on the 600, but it's uh, they both got their purposes, and they're both used in certain certain purposes. And um, and the mounts, you you know, you've seen the. the uh, it's all inner rail, inner rail monopod, really good monopod this, I mean this one here, it, it's uh, cost me about 70 quid I think it was in the end, this one, but you can't argue with that, you know, it's got feet, detachable feet, it's uh, got a ball head, you know, it's everything, everything you need, and uh, my tripod you've seen, and the fluid head, and my gimbal head, so there you go, this is everything I take when I do my wildlife. So, you know, the places I go, I mean, I'm quite lucky where I live is I've got a lot of wildlife reserves around me, especially I'm, I'm not too far away. I'm sort of like within a 30 mile uh, drive of the Cotswold Wildlife Park. Um, so, I mean, I don't really utilize that place enough. So I'm gonna start going there more. Um, 
because there's a lot of bird hides out there, you know, to use and utilize and a lot of places to walk around. So I'm going to start utilizing that a bit more and go out there. So I should be doing that. And um, yeah, so walking around, taking photos of different species of bird is, is, is my idea of fun. And this is all the gear I use for it. Anyway, didn't go into too much depth into everything. You know, there are YouTube videos out there that will tell you everything about, you know, this lens and this lens and this lens here, you know, and the two cameras, you know, there's there's a lot of videos out there. So if you want to know a little bit more about them, you know, just, just do a YouTube search. Um, but yeah, that's it. Anyway, I'm going. I'm going to continue to drink my coffee. I've got to tidy up all this away before the wife gets home. And I will see you on the next video, chaps. Okay, cheers. Bye.